Hello friends, uh, this week's uh, fuel video or biofuels video is on making black diesel. This is a sample of black diesel that I made about a week ago. Black diesel is made by uh, blending gasoline or a solvent with waste motor oil. And essentially it is not a biofuel. However, it is an attempt to recycle uh, waste motor oil and I believe that uh, recycling waste motor oil into fuel, diesel fuel, is a good practice. One, because it's recycling. Two, I believe as more people recycle motor oil into diesel fuel, there's going to be less uh, uh, waste motor oil ending up in the uh, landfill. So, uh, so to me, burning it as diesel fuel is a good practice. Uh, so anyway, the idea with, uh, with making black diesel, as I said, is to blend gasoline with motor oil, and the relationship is about the same. I find that 80% gasoline to, or 80% waste motor oil to 20% gasoline works best in my engine. Some people uh, find 15% gasoline works better for them. And the idea is, is you uh, collect waste motor oil, let's say from the local uh, me uh, mechanic or the place where they uh, change motor oil, and you get permission to extract some of their waste motor oil. Or you can use the motor oil that you get from your own crankcase. And then you blend it in a tank like this. and. Uh, and the idea is, is that you leave it blended in that tank undisturbed for at least 24 to 48 hours. In that time, uh, the most 99% of the particulate is going to precipitate out. And the thing about waste motor oil is that uh, you know most everybody's got an oil filter on their engine and that oil filter happens to be a 10 micron, roughly 10 micron uh, filter. So that means that waste motor oil, uh, the preponderance of its particulate is going to be in the uh, 10 micron and below range. And, uh, and uh, the uh, so understanding that uh, will help you how to figure out how to process waste motor oil, meaning that you really don't have to have uh, a filter that uh, has pore size any larger than 10 microns if you're going to process waste motor oil. Although arguably there's going to be some larger globs that might have coalesced in the, in the drum or dirt that has shown up. So maybe you know, maybe a relatively fine screen at about 80 to 125 mesh uh, in front of your um, filter would be good. And, uh, and I processed it well with a single 1 micron 20-inch um, long sock filter and it worked fine.